the history of the engine. So this is what we refer to as the billion coreless steam engine. It was the uh, primary source of power for the billion box and lumber company from 1904 to 1958. Uh, the, uh, and, or the company ran an uh, engine previously that ran off line shafts. And so there were certain limitations with that. And so what this engine allowed them to do is have more consistent lighting and electrical output for machinery that could be powered off of electricity. So what's unique about this engine, and the reason we call it a coreless steam engine, is the valve gear. And so what this valve gear allows us to do is utilize steam more efficiently. So now in a standard steam engine, what you're doing is you're introducing steam into the cylinder about 60 to 70% of the stroke. So by the time that you close the valve, the steam continues expanding, but you only have 30% of your stroke left. So on this engine, you can see these pots down here at the bottom, and those are called dash pots. When those diaphragms lift up, a vacuum is created. And so, you see these horns shaped on the, uh, on the intake valves at the top of the engine. And we refer to those as the catch and release mechanism. So when the camera pulls the valve open, at a certain point, the, the release mechanism is going to drop the valve. And then the vacuum in the dash pod is going to close it rapidly. Now, by closing the valve early at, say, 30% of the stroke, we let steam do what it wants to do, and that's expand. So, by letting steam expand the remaining 70% of the stroke, we're getting much greater efficiency out of it, thereby improving the, the operation of the engine and reducing costs. So, you know, this engine was really the Cadillac of engines back in its day because there was less, less firing that had to be done on the boilers, there's less water that had to go into the boilers. So, this, this really was the cat's meow of its time.